second. Hi! I can see it. Can see it. <laughs> so where do we look? We're so technologically Hello. advanced. Hello. Hello. Mock and Daisy from Chicks on the Right. I'm Daisy. I'm Mock. And we want to wish all of our readers a very Merry Christmas. And a Happy Hanukkah. All of those holidays. And um, you guys were also great about turning in questions to us. And we decided that since there were so many good ones, we were going to limit it to personal today. Personal stuff Yeah, today. we got a lot of really good political ones, but the political ones are going to take... A long time. We're thinking we're probably going to do some separate ones. So. Yeah. This will be the beginning of a new series, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. So that's what we're going to try to do. I, and I think you should take note of the fire. This the is fire our fireside right chat. It's like fireside chat. It's like fireside, fireside chat. chat with Mock and Daisy. This is at, we're at Mock's house. Yeah, this is my house. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd have like Great Danes and toddlers <laughs> all up in our stuff. <laughs> and we have beverages. We do have beverages. I think one of the questions that we got actually was um, if we prefer red or white wine, which made me be, me giggle because I know you. Don't, I don't drink wine. You don't drink wine. I'm, I drink beer or vodka. And so I'm, that a, answers I'm that a question. red wine, red wine. She's girl. a wine girl. <laughs> Too many sulfites. <laughs> She's not good for you people. But look, just we've printed it. out questions, and so we're just gonna get right Let's into it. Let's do it. Go right? ahead. Start okay. asking the questions. And like like. Like we said, we're just going to do personal ones today, and then we'll get if, – so don't feel left out if we didn't answer your question, but thank you for sending them. Yes, we and really we'll get to them. We, we, we okay. will. All right, so here we go. All right, so the first question is – this came through email from Joe. Joe. And Joe asked, woo, Joe, what education do we both have? What is our degree? What is our major and university? Go ahead. I feel like I'm in a job interview. Go ahead. <laughs> you want you me first. to go first? Okay. You go first. Um, okay, so education. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Kansas. <laughs> and I, I went to undergrad school at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. Uh, so uh, go balls. <laughs> and my, uh, <laughs> she's gonna woof in a second. And um, she will woof by marriage. Yeah. And um, my master's degree is from Southern Polytechnic State University in Marietta, Georgia. She has a master's in, techni in technical and professional communications. So that is all right. That's so we it. Cover that. We've Question covered number it. one. Done. Done. Um, one of our friends, Mike Murphy, <laughs> asked on Facebook if we really get along as well as it seems. I think yes. I think yes. And you know why? It's because we share a brain. We, we can't do. see it. We, but, we're it's also, weird. but we're also very different. And I think very it, different. And it, it's, we, it's weird. It's like we were sort of separated at birth, but we're also very, very different. And I think the one thing that keeps us um, getting along is, and I can say this about most of the, probably the, the, handful of girlfriends that I have that I'll have for my life is honesty. Yeah. If you piss me off, I'll tell you. <laughs> if, if I piss her off, she tells me. And then I think it just works. It's like a marriage. Yes. She's like my life wife. <laughs> she just tells me where I, I need to be. I, and I'm what. the coordinator. I'm the coordinator. Yeah, you are. She is the coordinator. And all that stuff. I just get, I just, you know. That's right. Well, you know what? I'm going to skip around a little because I think okay. that leads right into Seanette, I think is how you say it, Shawnette. from Facebook. Shawnette. She asked, if I'm not being overly personal, which I thought was so cute. That like, is. I know. Um, are you two related or simply good friends? And the answer is that we are not related. We're not related. But we are very I, I do have a little bit of Polish in me. That's right. So, That's I mean, right. maybe somewhere back. Way back. Way back in the pile, like a there may be connection. A, yeah, there may be a branch somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and so then I wanted to. Add, then I thought that somebody asked how. Oh, here we go. Joe P. Joe P. asked, "How did you totally awesome chicks happen to meet?" And if I were ever to win the lot, this is my favorite question. I by love the way. that question. If I were ever to win the lottery, would you accept a large donation to help keep we COTR going? Always, yes, we always. Yes, the answer is yes. We always accept donations. <laughs> because one thing, and there's a misconception, I'm going to clarify this, that we make no, no money. money. None. 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 <laughs> this no is just, money. This is a labor of love. Okay, so Maggie wanted to know what size shoe we wear and do we want to do a shoe swap? I am all about shoe swaps. I'm I, I'm about it too because I know Maggie has sent emails of, of but, some of her shoes and I like them. I, I have like a distinct a feeling though that um, I won't be able to fit into anybody's shoes because I'm a size 9. I'm like the Amazon of the two of us. <laughs> and all... I'm a size 7. So sure. if you want to swap, Maggie, you just let us know. Because I know that you don't wear a size 9. Okay, so we've got a question from Carolyn um, who's one of our Best and dearest fans. Yes. Uh, personally, does Mr. Daisy or Mr. Mock ever think that you've taken this a little too seriously? And how big is the book that you throw at him when he voices his opinion? Is it an attention getter or for the purpose of maiming? <laughs> and then the last part is fashion. 
exactly how many pairs of designer Christian Louboutin, Jimmy Choo, Manolo Blahnik shoes do you each have? And really, no, really, are they worth it? Are they actually comfortable? And yes, I just gave away how many of those are in my wardrobe, didn't I? Are they more comfortable than the Uggs we all know you secretly have and wear? <laughs> I do not own a pair of Uggs, okay? I think I've seen you in Uggs. I have knockoffs. knockoffs. I have knockoffs. I will not wear those. I will say right now. Sorry, I, have, I will not. It's They're like Crocs. Warm. I will not. <laughs> My daughter, she's 22 months old, and I, I cringe when she wears Crocs. I'll allow her to wear them until... She's old enough to understand how insanely hideous they are. They really are hideous. They're hideous. They're purely for warmth they're and function. They're plastic. They're not. They're gardening yeah, they're, shoes. They're... I don't garden. <laughs> and um, no, I do not wear Uggs. I know you've seen it. They're, you know, that's fine. I, I just don't, I don't like them. Yeah, I won't even wear right. the fake ones. I don't like them. My feet do not need to be that warm. But as far as the other shoes, the fancy shoes. They're worth it. They are worth it. They're, we each have two pairs of the Louboutins. One yes. of one is like a leopard sandal, which is not comfortable at all. They're more for sitting. Um, and then the other pair that I have, which are the black and red ones, which I think are in the corner of our website, which I guess would be right there yeah. or like right there. <laughs> Those are really comfortable. Yeah, I have Those python really ones, which are insanely comfortable. I love them. They're like slippers. Yeah. And then uh, my black ones are, they're patents. Not so they're not, you know, but they're fabulous. Yeah. yeah. And so as far as um, the boys getting involved or thinking that we take this a little too seriously, I don't know that too seriously is what Mr. Mock would say. He would probably just say, my God, it takes so much time. Why aren't you making money at it? Yeah, that's so, <laughs> that is exactly what Mr. Daisy says. Exact same reaction. And it's what we would love. Yeah, we'd love to make money. That would be the one thing I think that we both would change about our lives right now. But I, I think Mr. Daisy is more of our... Um, our pseudo ninja security detail. Mm. So if, when we get the hate mail from people that um, the the compassionate and loving liberals <laughs> who threaten to kill us yeah, and awesome. torture us, um, we usually give those IP addresses to Mr. Daisy, and then he has fun. And in about five minutes, we have a Google Earth picture of that person's house and their address. <laughs> so we have the option of sending them um, a mug. <laughs> Which or is police, I, whichever. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Whichever. Here's the mug. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's do. I think we. That one's her. a good one. I love that. Oh one. yeah. So JD. Asked, you gotta do eggnog or. Well, I don't even know what that other thing. That's. Is. I think it's wasal. What I, eggnog? Was, yeah, wasal, asked, what, I can't pronounce it. But eggnog it's like, or whatever that it's, is. Isn't it like a hot toddy? Isn't it like an English hot toddy? Well, considering I don't drink either of them, then I would. say I like neither. eggnog. Eggnog Bring is on the, too milky. And it's fatty. Creamy. It's and like so, drinking a glass of butter. It's so bad for you. I love it. <laughs> Okay, and she also asked um, Sean Connery or George Clooney. Which, which is so perfect. I love that so much because without even knowing yeah. our husbands, yeah. it's That's like her, perfect. they kind of are our husbands. So Sean Connery. Mine's a little younger than Mr. Connery. <laughs> but just as but bald. I just as bald and, uh, <laughs> and just as hot, yeah. And, and Mr. Mock often gets um, compared to George Clooney, mostly by me. He has but really good he's hair. He's got really good hair, and it's very similarly colored and styled. It's like salt and pepper, and, yeah. and there's a lot of George it. Clooney. Yeah, and mine is just very low maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. So. Okay, let's see. Well, I think we have time for one more. We do. We'll let's do, do one, one more. more. Um, oh, wait. We got to oh, do yeah. that. So, shout out to Audra. Yeah. <laughs> what? HRD said, can you give a shout out to my sister Hi, Audra, Audra on here? Because she got me hooked reading this, too. And I love this because the fact that someone would think it's I cool know. for us to We're give like, them a shout out. I know. That breaks it's, my heart. It's hilarious. We're the biggest bunch of <laughs> nobody dorks. So shout okay. out Woo, yeah, that's to Audra. Okay. Oh, let's, oh, let's do this. We got to do that one. So Carolyn also asked, pick your all-time favorite movie ever. Which Shawshank. 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 Um, the song that you're most likely to sing at the top of your lungs. You go first. It's kind of embarrassing. Just say it. I'm going to okay. out her because she said it this morning at <laughs> breakfast. If you don't say it, just say it. This is who you are. All right. This is, if I'm in my car and this happens to come on the radio, oh, don't I will preamble. sing. Just say I it. will sing at the top of my lungs. Debbie Boone. Debbie Boone's You Light Up My Life. And I, which gives you insight into our souls, will sing Baby Got Back. Because I know all the words of that song. My hand that kind of don't want none unless you got buns, hon. That you're Okay, so um, John from Facebook wanted to know if the, if the, are those real pictures of you on your profile page? They're totally real. They're totally Fox real. Newsified. Totally us. 
just with a lot of makeup. A lot of spackle. A lot of makeup. Yes. And we they were airbrush they with do. With a gun, with a glowing thing that they go, It's Shh. very frightening and, and very of fun. Makeup. So fun. So fun. And super great photographer. And big eyelashes. Big eyelashes and a um, in a real photography studio with fans and mist and lighting and magic and real magic. It was great. Seriously. It was a good time. This is you see us. This is what we look like. And Marla. then you see the picture. And my hair shorter. I got your it all hair shorter. That's off. true. And that was last December yeah. when we got those taken. So it was, it's been a year that's right. since it's been taken. But it is us. We're not overly bloated anymore now than we were last year. So that's good. <laughs> it's not like we're both like three hundred pounds. Right. And- <laughs> And people would be like, are you serious? That's that you? not yeah. you. No, it really is us. It just was yeah, a us. lot of extra yeah. It was for our hair. rebranding effort, and we thought it would be fun. And it was totally fun. It was really fun. Yeah, was Highly really fun. recommend it. 